I'm Andy Griffith. I'm a writer and I want to share a lifetime of reading with a whole new generation of kids. I'm this one, the brave hero of the series. And Terry is the illustrator. He's the stupid one. All right. With the really big ears. Libraries have always been part of my life, right from the beginning. Books were always a world of fascination to me. I wrote the manuscript for my first book at St Kilda Public Library. It was called Just Tricking, and St Kilda had these soundproof private cubicles that I could go into uh, and work very concentrated for two hours a day. Uh, at the time, I was a single parent um, living in a very small flat. Money was very scarce. And these two hours uh, and this environment were precious and crucial to me getting that manuscript written. So that was where it all began for me. The 117-storey treehouse has a number of exciting levels. We have an underpants museum. This is nothing but underpants. We have inflatable underpants. Very good on rainy days like this, if you get caught in a flash flood, you inflate your underpants and then you can float to safety. I think libraries are totally a social justice tool. They are a great leveller because access to knowledge is access to power. If all you do is get one idea from a book, that is enough to put you on a whole different path. What I thought we would do today is actually turn this uh, space into a giant fighting robot arena. I love this new children's quarter. It's, it's a lovely mixture of old and new uh, and a sense of play because that's what books really are for me. They're a chance to play in your imagination and when that's reflected in the environment, that's double strengthening that message. I know libraries change lives because every day I get letters from parents and children who tell me that reading books has changed their lives. It's turned their child from a non-reader into a voracious reader. And to grow a new reader, what you need to do is present them with a wide range of books, fiction, non-fiction, funny, not funny. And what a public library does is provide that vast selection of books so that that child can find the book that's going to open the door of literacy to them. As Dr. Seuss said so memorably, the more you read, the more you know, and the more you know, the more places you'll go. Um, now, whether those places are literal or metaphorical, uh, that's what we all need.